That is a mothership. We offer a program called Hearing Conservation Training as a free service to companies. We get the word out to the actual workers who are affected by noise-induced hearing loss on a daily basis. Hopefully they will have a much better understanding of when they should wear hearing protection and how to wear it correctly. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody? If you get exposed to loud noise without wearing hearing protection, you actually accelerate the loss of hearing. There's no one earplug that fits everyone here. We talk about non-occupational as much as occupational because many workers will be very good at work, but then they go home and do things like mow the lawn, weed eat, snow blow, and they don't wear hearing protection. Any hunters, raise your hand, at those sound pressure levels, you can cause immediate damage. They look at the rules, they say, yeah, I understand, but it's not gonna hurt me. It's not the immediate pain. It's when you're 50, 55, or 60, all the damage you did over the years will catch up with Kevin you. Kevin has a choice of 11 different styles of earplugs here. We I recognize ask that this is a big problem in the United States. People not wearing hearing protection when they really should be. He ends up failing because we can only protect him down to 80, 60. So this may not be the earplug. It's, it's the greatest thing as a teacher to be able to have somebody come up and say, man, it really made a big difference. Then we've done our job. Yeah. <laughs>